hello. Let's see. Hi. So this is part three of why we are sick um, within the under renovation group. Hi, Devana. Um, so I did the first two days of why we're sick. Um, the first one was high blood pressure. The second one was, um, what did I talk about yesterday? Oh, stress. Stress is the reason why we're sick. And I, the third one, and I just figured out what I was going to talk about. Um, why we're sick is because our mindset is wrong. And that is why we're sick. And let me explain that. We're sick because we have this mindset that, okay, um, something comes up. I go to the doctor, they're going to give me a prescription and I'm going to take this medication and that's going to fix it. Um, or we're thinking, um, my mom has this, my dad has this, I'm probably going to have this and they take this medication for this and I'm going to have to take this medication for this for the rest of my life. Um, or I know that if they say if you eat these things um, or you live this life or you have high blood pressure or I mean if you... You do these things that you're going to get high blood pressure, but my blood pressure is fine. So I could keep eating what I want to eat. Um, these are some of the reasons why we're sick because our mindset is screwed up. Mm -hmm. um, Faith, you asked about high blood pressure. Um, no, it's not hereditary. I talked about it in video one. Um, what is uh, that people say high blood pressure runs in your family. It does not run in your family. The bad habits run in your family. So if your parents ate a certain way and they cooked a certain way and you start cooking a certain way and you eat that certain way, then it's likely that you're going to have those same problems that they have because you are, you have adopted their habits. So those bad habits run in the family. So when I say we need to get our mind right, we need to think about, um, start thinking differently. We have, our brains are screwed up the way we think about health in America. Um, and I don't know where else, but. Um, is not the right way. We think, okay, I get sick and they give me these medications or I have high blood pressure, I have diabetes, um, it runs in my family, I'm going to have it for life or um, I just have to take these medications and this is, what's gonna, this is what it is. Instead of us looking at a wellness point of view and instead of us understanding that the things that to keep us well, we have already around us. God put us on this earth and put everything in place for us to be well. However, we've kind of started to adopt the ways of the world when it comes to eating processed foods, when it's not eating the things that are good for us, eating a lot of things that are bad for us constantly, not exercising, smoking. Um, we are doing those things on a constant basis and wondering why we're sick and then deciding that we're gonna go to the doctor and let them hand us a prescription. So I like to kind of get you guys out of the mindset of always thinking that a prescription or a medication is the thing that you need because what that does is that makes us lazy. So you have people who have high blood pressure and they are taking a blood pressure medication and they're not changing the way they're living. And so they're just constantly taking medication and still doing what they want to do. And then their blood pressure gets worse and then they get on two meds and then their blood pressure gets worse and they get on three meds. Because they thought this blood pressure medication is going to be the fix all instead of deciding, let me make the changes that I need to make so that I don't need to take the blood pressure medication. So my point is to let you know that we're sick because we need to change our thinking. We don't have to be sick. None of us have to have the chronic diseases that we carry, that our families carry. It's all based on our lifestyle. So if you don't want to have high blood pressure anymore, if you don't want to have diabetes anymore, if you don't want to have migraines anymore, if you don't want to have any of those things anymore, you don't have to. I don't care what doctor tells you this is a chronic disease, you're going to have it for life. That's not true. You do not have to have these things for life. And if you don't have them now, you still need to pay attention to this because, like I said, we, we're thinking, oh, I eat this way, I eat that way, and I don't have anything, I'm good. That is what's leading you to then have something 10 years from now. So we have to think about preventive health. Instead of thinking about being reactive, we need to be proactive. We're sick because we're reactive. We're sick because we get a cold and now we want to go take vitamin C. How about we take the vitamin C before we get the cold so we can prevent ourselves from getting the cold. We have high blood pressure. We go get the medication. How about we decrease the salt intake, decrease the caffeine intake, stop smoking, exercise before we get high blood pressure so that we don't get it. How about we make sure we're not eating too many carbs or too many processed foods so that we don't get diabetes? Um, you know, we have some thin people that are like, I'm skinny. I'm good. I can eat whatever I want. All the while developing plaque in their arteries because they think they're good. 
So we're sick because we have gotten this whole thing messed up in our heads. We have somehow believed, like, come, like, I guess this new technology in life has made us think that we could just go and fix it with a pill. When you have these pills that are causing, somebody told me the other day, they were taking a medication that caused them to have pancreatic cancer. I've seen it multiple times, a diabetic medication that can cause you to have pancreatic cancer. So you're fixing your diabetes, you're fixing your high blood sugar with a pill that's gonna cause you to have, that can possibly cause you to have cancer. When all you truly have to do is stop eating so much damn sugar. Like, we have to like clearly think about how simple it is for us to be healthy. What do we need to do to be healthy? Stop just saying in the short term, I want to eat this, you know, so you got to die sometime. No, you don't have to die as early as you are. Hi, Naomi from South Africa. Glad you're here. So we don't have to die the, as early as we die. We don't have to be sick. We don't have to have all of these medications. Um, if you're young now and you're not on medications, you still need to think about your future and how long you want to live and how healthy you want to be and what type of lifestyle you want to have and what type of uh like life you want to live do you want to be 60 years old and and walking real slow and you can't get up and your knees hurt and you gotta pull out your long medication thing it's become so normal that everybody's on medication the fact that we're walking around with these pill holders with a million pills in there, like it's normal. That is not normal for us to have to take all these medications. We were given the medications that we need in life, and that is the plants and the foods that we're supposed to eat. If we use our food as medicine and we pay attention to our lifestyles and not do the things that we're doing, then we could be healthy. Because what's like, again, mindset is crazy. I could say, let me go eat this sea moss. And somebody will be like, ew, that's disgusting. You eat that? While they're eating something crazy like like candy that they don't even know what it is, what's in it. Like it's some chemicals in it. Or while they're drinking a Coke and they have no idea what ingredients are in that Coke. But they're looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm drinking sea moss tea. Like we have to think about how we think and understand that the reason we are continuously sick is because our thinking is completely backwards. If I tell somebody, use this essential oil or use this natural product, they look at me like, but you go take a pill that's white, that has Zyrtec on the front or that has Tylenol on the front, but you really don't know what's in the pill and you don't know what it's gonna do to you. So you're more comfortable with taking a pill in a bottle that you have no idea what was made, what it is, some chemical, some doctor, some chemist told you that this is gonna help you. You're more comfortable taking that than taking something naturally grown from the ground. You're more comfortable with taking that. That is why we are sick. We are sick because our thinking is completely backwards and flip-flopped. Somehow we have gotten lost in, in the new technology of medicine and we're playing into big pharma's hands because pharma, big pharma, all those big companies that are making millions and billions and trillions off of you being sick, is be, and they, we're playing into it. If you think about it, the FDA, they regulate big pharma, right? But they also regulate the, the Food and Drug Administration. So McDonald's, the processed foods, mm -hmm. all of those things, they regulate that. They don't let you smoke marijuana, but they let you eat decline. Mm -hmm. Sorry. They let you eat McDonald's, which has cancer causing agents in it. They let you eat processed foods. They let you eat all of those things. Why? Because now you're going to need those medicines that Big Pharma is selling you for all of these thousands of dollars. And you're comfortable with it. You're comfortable with getting a prescription from your doctor so you can take care of this illness instead of just pre-treating it and preventing it. So we are sick, you guys. That is how we fix our illnesses. We are sick because we are, our thinking is effed up. It's completely backwards. So how do we fix this? We fix this by evaluating what is going on in our lives. So one, look at what you are doing. What are your habits? What are you eating every morning? What are you drinking? How are you sleeping? Are you exercising? You think about your symptoms. You think about what issues you have. Let's find the root cause of those things. Instead of just throwing a prescription at it, let's find out why we have those things. 
And if you find the root cause of it, and most of the time it has something to do with your lifestyle behaviors, if you find out the root cause of it, then you start removing those bad behaviors and replacing them with good behaviors. Once you've replaced them with better behaviors, you will notice that your illnesses will start to get better. And then you can start getting better where you can go to that doctor and he can say, you know what, you don't need this strong dose anymore. Let's take you down. And then it gets to a point where, you know what, you don't even need this medication. Let's take you off. So we can get better and we can not be ill if we decide that we're going to start looking at our habits start looking at your behaviors that you're doing every single day and look at how it's contributing to the illnesses that you have and then you will get better so we will stop being sick once we change our mindset once we start understanding that we're we're only sick because we're causing this to ourselves whether it's your fault or not whether it's something that you was passed down to you at this point we have the knowledge to now address it so you may have these habits that you know were passed down to you by your parents and it's not your fault but now address it understand that those habits are killing you understand that the salt pork meat in your red beans are killing you understand that um, the fried pork chops are killing you understand those things and say you know what I love pork chops but I'm not gonna have them every day I'm not gonna have them once a week I'm going to limit how much I eat. So stop worrying about the pleasure of something because a lot of times we get caught up in the pleasure. But I love that. I love crawfish. I love this. But if it's killing you, how much you love it? You love, you love the crawfish or you love your life? What's your priority? So we have to start prioritizing our life and how we feel. You might feel good today, but think about how you're going to feel in 10 years. Do you look at the, the sickest person in your family and see if you, do you want to look like that? Yes, you feel good today, but do you want to look like that, how they're feeling 10 years from now? You have to think about the future. Sometimes it's good to think about the now, but in the now, you need to think about how you're going to want to live in the future. So you have to address the behaviors that you're doing now in order for you to do better in the future. So that is why we're sick, y'all, because our mind and our thinking is backwards and we need to get our minds right. So let's work on that. And um, I will, I think I got something for you guys that I will present to you either today or tomorrow um, on how to help you guys. So I'm still waiting on the, the young ladies that uh, came to the vision board party. And once we get through them, then it will be announced to everyone else. But spots are filling fast and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So if you are just getting on the video at the end, please rewind and um, watch this video. Because that was something that was on my mind and I just had to tell y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day.